According to Sao Paulo authorities, the number of homeless families in the city more than doubled in the last two years. The Santos family was among them. My husband had COVID twice and lost his job. We could not afford rent anymore and were evicted. So we had to go to the city's homeless shelters. After a few months of living in shelters, they managed to get one of the city's tiny houses, built by the Reencontro program. In this village, there are 40 homes, each with 18 square meters of space, roughly the size and shape of a shipping container. The city provides meals, but there are plans to have residents cook for themselves in a communal kitchen. Families are not charged any fees but they must abide by several rules, which include a ban on drinking and drugs. Gates are closed at 10 p.m. and outside visitors are not allowed. What we really want is to have our own home. We hope that after this program there will be some other project to get us permanent housing. We need to go on with our lives. The program is focused on families of up to four people who've been living in the streets for less than two years. They'll have the right to stay here in the city's tiny homes for up to two years. All the units have private bathrooms and are equipped with a fridge and a small electric stove. People stay here from 12 to 24 months, while the family's mothers and fathers can be trained to acquire more skills and a profession. The city is working for these people to regain their autonomy. But one of Brazil's leading advocates for the homeless, a Catholic priest who's been working with street populations for almost 40 years, says much more has to be done to give the homeless more control over their lives. É tutelado. Por exemplo, não poder fazer a comida, tem horário para entrar e horário para sair. These people are under the tutelage of the authorities. They can't cook. They have limited times to go in and out of the village. Can't have visitors. It feels more like assisted freedom than home. Paying a social grant for them to rent a home somewhere would increase their autonomy. Besides the 80 homes already in operation, there are 300 more set to be installed in the next few months and plans for up to 2,000 in the next couple of years. It's part of the strategy to deal with a homeless population that exploded in the last couple of years, affecting more than 30,000 people here. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.